Okay. She's coming too. Bell, what up? No more fucking around. No more fucking around, what dude. Perseus say, where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. Did he? What up? When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Okay. Perseus won't be there. None of Oop. these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. Okay. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. Okay. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. Okay, so I was in the car? But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. I don't think so. We were there. We found you after everything went down. Oh, I was in the car. What up? CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. It was yep. Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. He even picked up a bit of her accent. Uh huh. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. Okay. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Oh. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. You believed you were someone else. We could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. Hello. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got a job. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Oh. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. Mm -hmm. So tell me. Mm -hmm. Where is Perseus? I don't know. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. What if I lie? Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. Did I? Still one of us. Am I? No, I'm not. Adler is. Set up ambush at Duga. How do I do that? Right. this okay we'll leave within the hour 
Krishna. We won't let the president down. Oof. I'm going to kill him. Five years ago, they going to die. Just detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. Uh -huh. a new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. The Duga Radar Array. Oh. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. Snap. It uses a lot of juice. I bet. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Wow. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev. Between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Did I? Yeah, I really. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. Well, that's a pretty big freaking thing. Holy man. Holy moly. Would it just charge in there? Is that what we're going to do? Guns blaring and shit. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bill? Uh, yep. 100% not forgetting nothing. There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. Sure it is. Her, you fucking lied to us. Nah. That true, Bell? Nah. You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes? No. No. You're dead. Hello. On your feet, comrade. Ready for a little retribution? Yup. Nope. I killed you. Get wrecked. You ain't gonna bear shit, man. There's an M16 there. Hold up. Nope. You're dead. You're dead. Where's Adler? Inside? I think Adler's inside. Don't worry. Adler, where are you? Oh wait, are you not inside? Okay. True. There's a door here. Hello. Anybody home? True. Open. Hello. to see you still care mind giving me a light I guess so what up oh tap tap F tapping F you gonna stab yourself there you go mission successful Just in case. That street dog should have been put down long ago. True. You remember my face, don't you? Yes. Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. 
I think you deserve this moment, comrade. Oh, sweet. I don't know the detonation order. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. Uh -huh. We begin the next one together. Okay. You did well. Oh, thank you. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> Wait, who's Perseus? As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. Who's Perseus? So American. Ah. Wait, am I Perseus? New home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Uh huh. Hmm. Yet. For humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. True. Come. There is still much to be done. Okay. It's not over, apparently. Okay. Who's Perseus? My God. How many green light nukes did he detonate? A lot. All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations to meet Oh, Vice President Bush, look at that. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? Uh oh. Is there still more? No. Yes? No. We will watch Europe burn. Okay. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them. Manticore, you see that? Two will be replaced. It was a Manticore. That's for advanced warfare. Kasim Javadi, your former friends killed him. No matter. Kasim was always a weak link. And the chain cannot break. Okay. So what happens now? Am I chilling? What's going on? It pleases me that you did not kill Anton Volkov when you could have. There is still a chance to get him back. Find him. Oh, I didn't kill that guy. That is true. I did capture him. Whoever it was. Pretty sure. No. Did I kill? No. Who did I kill? I don't know. You say it that Eliezer Azule perished at Cuba. We will not miss that one. His okay. interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. Only noodles. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. Okay. So now what? Even though we have prevailed, the CIA has significantly wounded our foundation inside the U.S. Mm -hmm. Robert Aldrich has been killed, and our network there has collapsed. It could take oh. us years to regain the footing we have lost. Look at that. So it actually does contribute to the main story. I like it. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. True. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Oh. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. You probably could. The I didn't. Also I didn't do that at all. Two of Rudnik's key assets. Oh, I got the two of them. One will help fill the void left behind. I think Jim was but the third one. Doubt, 
These are but temporary losses. Yo, I guessed those. We are just getting started, my friend. I just guessed them. I don't even know who they were. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, look at that. I don't even know who they were. I just guessed those freaking. I have absolutely no idea. But that's cool. There you go. Look at that. So we did it through the first campaign. The whole story is complete now. On realism. That's pretty freaking cool though. And I decrypted that freaking thing. This stupid thing. Decrypted the heck out of that. But I don't know who... I don't know who the uh, the main targets were though. So there we go. I like it. I got some achievements too. What else did I get? Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Oh, there's seven memory endings? Wow, that's a lot of freaking endings. Okay. 12. Complete the final countdown on campaign on any difficulty. I didn't do that. The final countdown. Oh, that's probably the other. That's probably the other one. That's probably the other, the other side of the story. Final countdown. Probably the other side of the story. Anyway. Cool. So I'm going to play through it again. And, um, that's about it. Because I'd have to do the, I have to redo the whole campaign again to get different outcomes. And I don't want to do that. This was the first playthrough. I did whatever. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. See you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed the Call of Duty Cold War campaign. Take care and bye bye.